couldn't turn back now. You know, now that we're, we're on this electronic patient care reporting system, um, it, it just helps a ton. It helps us get information to the hospitals. We're able to post in the back of the ambulance to a hospital hub, which is at each hospital, and give them the information they need to help treat the patients sooner and, and, and more effectively once we get to the hospital. We know we have a 7.5 increase in call volume this year because of the reports that I can run. And then the dashboard in the product actually lets me spool up a unique report so I can actually see trends on my dashboard that I need to track on a monthly basis. It's just great all around. I mean, it, it's great for a holistic system, right? I mean, it may not be quite as easy and quick as a paper chart was for some of the old medics back in the day. Um, you know, they, their narratives were super short. The documentation was kind of poor, in my opinion. You had to store those paper charts somewhere. There just was a lot of stuff that was bad about that. It made an extreme amount of work for administrative staff. They'd have to scan them in the computer and do a lot of old techniques to get those archived properly for HIPAA compliancy. And now it's just all right here. You know, it can be sent immediately over to our billing office. They can start the billing process that day or the next day. Um, you know, it, it's just efficient all around. I like that it's user friendly for our crews. On the front end, it's very user friendly. Uh, once we got the crews on board and using it, after maybe a month, six weeks, they were like, why didn't we do this sooner? The ultimate goal is to get even our written partners onto the, uh, the, the electronic charting. So we'll have a true, from initial patient contact with the fire department all the way up through the physician advisor into the hospital system through the hospital hub. So we'll actually be integrated from one end of our, our regional system all the way up because we also do regional training. We run one at the east end, one at the east end and one at the west end that we meet at the end of the year based up on our QAQI process to see where our weaknesses are and what we need to actually look at as a training model. Yeah, the community has benefited from us going to this system. Um, one example is the quality assurance program that we run. Our physician advisors are able to utilize this system to help evaluate stroke patients, heart attacks, um, traumas. They're able to, to bring that to our um, case reviews and teach us different methods of use for these programs and how to treat patients. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, Ben, ben Fire and Rescue, we do about 10,000 calls a year. So paper charts, $1.50 a piece, plus extra charting papers for signatures. That's a lot of money saved just in that aspect alone. So I think just presenting some of those soft, um, soft money savings really kind of kick-started this project. I think for the community-wise, we made a fiscally responsible choice because it was provided by the state, so we were able to get a great discount um, rate at it. It didn't necessarily meet everything that we wanted, but we were able to customize it and pay a little extra and get the things that we wanted brought in, um, which ultimately helped the state bring in more tools and realize this is where it needs to go. Mm -hmm.